Hari Om, welcome. This is a short version of the two level class. So you can do it and have a full balanced asana practice in just about half an hour. Let's get started. Sit in your comfortable, favorite sitting pose and just begin to settle in to your foundation, establishing the base. Close the eyes and inhale deeply, drawing length through the spine. Exhale, releasing any tensions, any unnecessary thoughts. Begin to center your awareness for the practice today. Let's chant OM together three times. Gently open the eyes, stretch out the legs. Let's shake out the legs, the feet and ankles. And we'll stand up for Surya Namaskar, our warm up today. Come to the front of the mat, have the feet a comfortable distance apart, not more than hip width distance and ground through the feet into Tadasana the standing mountain pose. Adjust the alignment, hips over ankles, shoulders over hips, head gently centered. We'll do the first two rounds of Surya Namaskar as a continuous flow with the breath. Just move gently and gracefully from one pose to the next. One, exhale. Two, inhale, three, exhale, four, inhale, left leg back, five, exhale, down dog, six, inhale, seven, hold the breath, eight, exhale, nine, left leg forward, ten, Uttanasana, 11, inhale, 12, exhale. Once again, exhale, inhale, up and back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right leg back, low lunge. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, forward. Hold, eight, exhale, release. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, inhale, up and back. And 12, namaste. Relax for a moment, adjust your position and close. And now we'll add uh, some of the Hatha two variations. One, exhale, two, inhale, reach up in the vertical and deepen the back bend by pressing into the heels, keep the head between the arms, pelvis is coming forward. Exhale, hinging forward, Uttanasana. 
clasp the hands behind the back. Raise the hands up into a shoulder stretch. Neck is long and soft. Palms to the floor. Left leg back, a little lunge position. Release the back foot, prepare for Anjaneyasana, the monkey pose. Torso is vertical. Bring the hands to the sacrum, elbows back. Pressing the pelvis forward and down. Look up. Exhale, palms to the floor, step back, down dog position. Squatting back for our Kasha Bhujangasana. Flying Cobra, come forward and up. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Release the back leg. Preparing for Anjaneyasana. Hands to the sacrum. Open. Bring the palms to the floor. Step forward, Uttanasana. Hands behind the legs, bringing the chest towards the thighs. Bending the knees slightly, reach out, coming to Utkatasana. And pressing the feet down, stretch up into the back bend. Twelve palms together. We'll take one more round with these variations. One, exhale. Two, inhale up and back. Three, exhale. Four, right leg back. Anjaneyasana. Can bring the arms up into the full post, temple mudra, or you can have the arms parallel. Hands to the floor, step back, down dog position, Akasha Bhujangasana, the flying cobra, down dog, right foot forward. Anjaneyasana, monkey pose. Hands to the floor, step forward. Uttanasana. Reaching forward to Utkatasana. And coming up and back. Palms together, namaste. Return to Tadasana and observe the effects. Now please take Savasana, lying on your mat. If you like a blanket, you can put that out. <coughs> Turn and lie down on the back. Let the legs come out a comfortable distance. Palms up. Take a full cleansing breath. Completely relax. Now, please raise one arm overhead and turn over on the abdomen to Advasana. Relaxation pose on the abdomen. Take a breath to the belly. Bhujangasana, the cobra pose. Come into the starting position. Have the legs in a comfortable position for you. Inhale, slowly raising up. Keep the back of the neck long. Weight is supported in the upper back. 
between the shoulder blades. Breathe to the upper chest. You might want to move your elbows back a little bit and in towards the body. Stretching a little higher and slowly exhale and release. Forehead to the floor and relax completely. Preparing for Dhanarasana, the bow pose. Bend the knees. Hold the ankles. If this is not a comfortable pose for you, you could substitute the boat pose for Vanawasana with the arms and legs straight. For bow pose, legs should be parallel, not farther than hip distance apart. Inhale, press the ankles against the hands, lift the feet, the knees and thighs, lift the chest, lift the head. Balance on the abdomen. The breathing may cause a little gentle rocking. Exhale, slowly releasing. Release the legs. Bring the hands under the shoulders. Press up, come in through all fours position and release the buttocks back to the heels. In Balasana, the child's pose. Sitting up, we'll bring the legs forward and prepare for Paschimottanasana, forward bend. Now just adjust your position in Dandasana. If you like to sit on a folded blanket here so there's no rounding in the low back, you can put that in place or you can keep the knees slightly bent. Gently rotate the legs inwardly. Press and open the chest. Keep that lumbar curve. Inhale, bring the arms overhead. Reach up and exhale slowly. Begin to hinge forward from the hips. We're looking to, contact, to have contact between the belly and the thighs here. Reaching out. Slowly release into the pose. Using the breath, inhale, lengthening, exhale, release. Come out of the pose, begin lifting the head and reaching out, lengthening the spine. Engage the abdomen and the core to lift all the way up. Get a good stretch up and release the arms. Now we'll be gently releasing back 
into Savasana slowly with control and relax completely. Bridge pose, say to Bandasana, is a great counter stretch after the forward bend and preparation for shoulder stand. Bend the knees, feet, hip width distance apart, hands on the floor. Press into the feet and lift the whole torso up. Clasp the hands behind the back if that's comfortable and come up on the shoulders. Make sure you're not letting the knees splay out. Bring them towards the center line. Bring the sternum towards the chin. Slowly release. You can give a little hug to the knees and release the legs out. Now we'll prepare for Sarvangasana, the shoulder stand. If you're not doing shoulder stand today, you could repeat the bridge pose. Now I'm going to put a blanket underneath my shoulders and just roll this mat back into position. Lying with the shoulders just about two inches from the edge of the mat. Palms down. Lift the legs up and overhead. If you're comfortable bringing the feet to the floor, come into Halasana, the plow pose. It's a good place to establish your foundation for shoulder stand. You can clasp the hands together and get the weight up onto the shoulders and off the neck. Hips are coming over the shoulders. Press into the back with the hands and lift one leg to vertical, then the other. Align the hips over the shoulders, feet over the hips. Awareness of the throat area. If you're working on Niralamba Sarvagasana, you can begin by releasing one hand to the floor. The feet will come a little forward for balance. You could release the other hand. If this is comfortable, you could try the full pose, raising the hands up alongside the thighs. Then supporting the back, come back to the vertical position. We'll take Ekapada, one leg, shoulder stand, Flex the right foot and bring it all the way to the floor overhead. Stretch the left leg straight up. And raise the leg. Reverse to the other side. And raise up. Establish your vertical pose. And slowly beginning to release the pose. Bring the feet overhead all the way to the floor. Palms face down. And slowly roll the spine down. Try to keep the head on the floor. If possible, the knees straight. 
as you lower the legs. And relax completely. Soften the neck and shoulders. Now, if you had a blanket under the shoulders, you'll have to remove that before we go on with the fish pose. So remove that blanket. And for fish pose, you could have your legs straight out in the classic pose, or you could do Supta Vajrasana, the fish pose, from the kneeling position, which I'm going to show here. You're sitting in Vajrasana, and coming back onto the elbows. Lift the pelvis, the chest, and bring the head back to the floor. Use your elbows to hold the weight as you adjust your position. And then relax the shoulders. Breathing into the upper lungs. To release the pose, bring the weight back to the elbows. Inhale, lift the head all the way up. If you're in Vajrasana, we'll just come all the way up and forward to the child's pose. If you're in the fish pose, you can relax in Savasana. Relax the neck and shoulders. And let's all come back up to sitting. We'll prepare for Ardha Matsi Indrasana, the half spinal twist. So first we'll be twisting to the right. Let's take a nice stretch to the entire spine. The left leg can be out straight or you can bend the knee, cross the right foot over. Make sure this foot stays grounded. Both hips are even. Let's inhale and lengthen. Open the arms and begin to twist to the right with the strength of the back and the core strength. Keep twisting. You come as far as is comfortable. Let the arms come into position to support that twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, deepen. Make sure you're not leaning to one side and that the chin is staying level. Focus on the entire spine. Releasing the pose, bring the head back around. Release the legs, take a stretch. And we'll reverse to the other side. Left leg is crossed over. Make sure you're firmly established in your sitting pose. Lift and lengthen, inhale, open the arms. Begin to twist using the core strength, back muscles come all the way around and then gently let the arms support that twist without pushing. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, deepening. Beautiful pose for squeezing toxins out of the digestive system. And 
and slowly releasing. Coming back to center. Take a good stretch up. And now we'll take a comfortable cross leg position for yoga mudra, the yogic seal. Sit however is comfortable for you. Bring the hands behind the back, holding one wrist with the opposite hand. Lengthen the spine, closing the eyes. Inhale, exhale, hinging forward. Bring the chest and chin towards the floor. Lower the head and release. Inhale, slowly raising up. <laughs> Exhale, release the hands to the knees. Enjoy a peaceful moment of yoga mudra. Now please stretch out your legs and lie in Savasana for a very quick but deep relaxation. Adjust your position with the palms facing up, legs a comfortable distance apart. We'll first be stretching and then tensing all the muscles simultaneously. Take a deep breath in, stretch the legs, feet, hands, and face, and release. Roll a little from side to side. Now squeezing, inhale, hold, squeeze the feet, hands, face, raise up, release. Roll the hands from side to side, find a comfortable place. For the legs, the arms, the head and neck. Mentally scanning the body, you can release the more subtle tensions with the awareness. Starting from the soles of the feet Move up through the legs, relaxing. Relax the whole pelvis area and hips. Relax the whole back from the base to the top of the spine. Relax the abdomen, rib cage, chest. Relax the hands and arms, shoulders, neck. Soften and relax the entire face and head to the very top of the head. Release all tensions. Observe how relaxed the body feels. Observe the breath, how calm the breath is. Observe the mind. Let the mind be still and quiet. Turn your awareness deep within to the peace. Peace is your true nature. Enjoy that experience for the next minute of silence. Om Shanti.
coming back to the breath. Begin to deepen the breath. Let the breath energize the body, beginning to move and stretch gently. Take a deeper inhale, stretch out. And slowly roll over to one side. And coming back up to sitting. Sit in your comfortable meditation pose and just have a few slow, deep breaths. We'll be doing some pranayama, two rounds of Kabbalabhati, the rapid diaphragmatic breathing. I'll be timing us for 30 seconds about in each round. Let's begin the first round. <laughs> Continue at your own pace. Exhale completely, inhale a full deep breath all the way up to the collarbones and exhale very slowly with control. Return to normal relaxed breathing. Let's begin the second round. Continue at your own pace. Try to find a steady, even rhythm without strain. Finish with a full exhale. <laughs> Inhale deeply. Take a pause and exhale very slowly. Relaxing the breath. When you're ready, you can begin your alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Sudhi, using the right hand. Begin by exhaling fully out the left. Inhale through the left nostril and exhale out the right. Remember the pattern, exhale, inhale, change nostrils. Keep the breath very even, making the exhalation twice as long as the inhale. Letting the mind focus on the breath in the Nadi Siddhi practice. This is a very calming, balancing practice.
you come to your next exhale from the right side, just move into a minute of complete stillness and silence. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Jai Shri Sakuru Maharaj Ki Jai. Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Thank you so much for joining today with your practice. Enjoy your day. Keep this peace with you at all times. Hari Om Tatsat.